Hey, welcome back, guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, let's talk about some GPS and conky issues that you might be having and how to solve them. Stick around, and we'll get right to it. So recently, I've been getting some reports over on the forums. And guys, let me say real quick here, if you're having an issue with your build a -Pie setup, getting something working correctly, uh, I'm going to leave a link to the forums right here on the screen, and I'll leave that down in the description below. It's probably the best place you can go to ask a question or try to solve a problem. But I've been getting reports over there lately about either A, conky not starting, or B, GPS issues. Now, nine times out of ten, if I get one report, it's probably user error, and we can usually solve that pretty quickly. Uh, when I start getting multiple reports of the same things, I start to have to look a bit deeper and try to figure out what's going on. Sometimes that uh, takes some time because I have to be able to reproduce the problem here before I can kind of figure out exactly what's going on with it. Uh, but I did finally figure out uh, this conky and GPS issue. Conky is really not the problem. It's only a symptom of the underlying problem. But let's go ahead and move over to the Raspberry Pi. If conky is not starting for you on boot, it's probably GPS related. So let's jump over to the Pi and let's take a look at uh, what this looks like and how to fix it. Okay, so the first thing I want you to see is a system that's actually up and running so that everybody knows what we're talking about. When I refer to Conky, that is all of this information over here on the right-hand side of the screen. And you'll notice right up at the top, we've got the grid square, uh, and then it lists out the grid square over here to the right. Now, that information is pulled directly from the GPS. Uh, it runs a Ruby script in the background that actually displays this information. So now let's move over to another Raspberry Pi where I have recreated the issue. Let me minimize this for a second. You'll notice now that uh, I do not have that conky information over here on the right. Now what, uh, well, I tell you what, let me show you one thing real quick. I'm going to open up the terminal and I'm going to run CGPS and I'm going to hit return. You'll notice we have no data in this application here. That indicates that it's a GPS problem. Now, what a lot of guys do is they will try to unplug the GPS and plug it back up. So I'm going to go ahead right now and unplug that GPS. And you'll see here in just a couple of seconds that Conky has restarted. And now we have this no GPS listed right here. Unfortunately, that has only fixed one of the symptoms and has not fixed the underlying problem. So I went ahead and plugged the GPS back in. Uh, Conky is still reading no GPS. If we open that terminal window again, though, and we run CGPS, you'll see that we still have no data. There's a couple of things going on here. First, uh, just unplugging and replugging is not going to fix the problem. The way we set this up for the Raspberry Pi, the GPS is not hot swappable. And what I mean by not hot swappable, in case there's guys that don't know that, you can't unplug and replug the GPS on the fly and make it work. Uh, the GPS needs to be plugged into the Pi at boot in order for the Pi to recognize it and everything to work correctly. So I'm going to clear our exit out of that application and clear the screen. Let's go ahead and see if we can't get this solved. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to run sudo apt space purge space gpsd. We'll go ahead and press return on that and that'll typically take a couple of seconds when it asks you if you want to continue you do want to say yes here and sometimes this goes fast and sometimes this seems to actually hang up uh, right here at this 20% mark. While we're waiting on that to finish up I'm going to press Control shift t 
on the keyboard to create a new tab. So this is running over here in this window and I'm just going to run over here in this one. Uh, let's go ahead and move to a different directory with cd space forward slash dev forward slash serial forward slash by hyphen id. Once we're inside of this directory, let's go ahead and list out the contents with the ls command and hit return. And I seem to have lost a connection to my mouse there for a second. There we go. Um, once we've listed out this directory, you'll see this right here. Uh, this is our GPS receiver. These other two uh, things that are listed out above here have to do with my particular radio. But the, the information that we're interested in is this block right here. Now, let's jump back over to this other tab. And it looks like that this is getting closer to finishing up. And guys, I believe this has something to do with GPSD 3.17 dash seven. I'm not positive of that, but it seems uh, that every time I've run into this, it, that uh, we're running GPSD 3.17 dash seven. Now that that has finished up and it is uninstalled, let's clear that screen again. And next we're going to reinstall uh, the GPSD. Now notice right over here in Conky, it's reading some error. That indicates that uh, we did not install the GPS, which would be correct because we just uninstalled it. But moving back to the terminal, let's run sudo apt install hyphen y gpsd. And we'll go ahead and reinstall that uh, GPSD application real quick. Seems to install a lot faster than it uninstalls for whatever reason. Once it is, uh, or once it is complete, let's go ahead and clear that screen again, and let's run the following command: sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash default forward slash gpsd. We'll go ahead and press return, and we'll leave this right here. Remember, let's jump back to the other tab where we were working a while ago. I'm going to highlight this information here for my GPS. I'm going to right click and say copy. Now let's jump back to that file that we're, we were editing. First thing we're going to do is we're going to move USB auto to be false instead of true. For whatever reason, uh, if it's set to true, it seems to uh, produce more GPS issues. So we're just going to set that to false. Let's come down to devices, and I'm going to say uh, right here, make sure you're between the quotation marks. We need to leave those intact. Forward slash dev, forward slash serial, forward slash by hyphen ID, forward slash, and we're going to paste in that information that we copied from the other screen. So there's the USB, uh, U, blocks, AG, blah, 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 blah. Now, come on down to this next line where it says GPSD options. And again, between the quotes, let's say hyphen N. All right. Once we've got that finished up, let's press Control S and control X to exit out. Now, we've got one more command and we should get this squared away. Let's run sudo systemctl space restart gpsd. Whoop, gpsd. We'll go ahead and press return and it'll just bring you right back to the command prompt. Now, let's run that application again, cgps. We'll go ahead and press return, and you'll see that we now have data inside of this cgps application. And if you'll give it just a couple of seconds here, we will see that information populate over into uh, Conky as well. Now, while we're waiting on that to populate into Conky, I'm going to break out of this. If you prefer, you can also run XGPS. 
and it'll bring up a graphical user interface for you so that uh, you get a little prettier picture for it. But as you can see, we do have our grid square back in Conky right over here. And all is well again with both Conky and our GPS. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. That's how I fixed the GPS and conky on my system and i hope this helps you get yours resolved as well as you can see conky was not really the problem it was only a symptom of the problem the true problem was the gps in the background was not being run correctly and we saw that by running that c gps command so hopefully you can walk through these steps and get your system squared away as well if you've been having a similar issue. We'll see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.